everybody, welcome back to my channel. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyelids with concealer in the shade Fawn by LA Girl Pro Conceal. And I'm just going to blend that in. And then what I'm going to do is take my Sasha Buttercup Loose Powder and set the concealer. What I'm doing next is I'm applying a reddish brown shade from the Morphe 35O palette and I'm blending that right into my crease. I'm just going to keep adding product until I get the intensity that, that I desire. Um, I take a little bit and then I add more. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a matte black eyeshadow from MAC and I'm going to put that in my outer V only. I want the focus to be very smoky in that area. Does that make sense? Anyways, yeah, and whatever I have left, I'm going to drag it into my crease. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking my NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Black Thing and I'm applying that to my lid. That's going to act as a base for the glitter that I'm using. And yeah, it's just going to help it pop. What I'm doing is I'm taking NYX Cosmetics Glitter Primer and it's just a glitter glue and I'm going to apply that to the lid area the same place I put the jumbo eye pencil shade and that's going to help the glitter stick. I'm applying my Glitter Injections Glitter in the shade Chocolate Kiss. I love this color. It's the perfect brownie glitter color. But yeah, I'm just going to apply that at all the places that I put the glue on. Now I'm just applying my City Cosmetics Pore Filler Primer all around my face using my e.l.f. brush. Now what I'm doing is I'm applying my LA Girl Pro Concealer in my orange shade. That's just going to help eliminate the dark spots, which would be in my forehead and around my mouth. I'm going to blend that for my life. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking AJ Crimson Foundation cream foundation in the shade 4.5 that's just going to be like a base foundation for me it's medium coverage now what i'm doing is i'm applying my la girl pro conceal in the shade toffee under my eyes that's just to correct not to highlight now what i'm doing is i'm taking my cap on d locket foundation in the shade deep 71 i believe and I am applying that to pretty much my entire face, but focusing more on the areas that I feel need more coverage. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and applying another LA Girl Concealer in the shade Pure Beige. I'm applying that to all the places that I have highlighted, well that I plan on highlighting, and I'm just going to blend that out. Now what I'm doing is applying the shade Beautiful Bronze, that's going to be my contour shade today and I'm just applying that to my cheeks or my cheekbones, my forehead area and to my chin and then blending that out with the Real Tech NYX Expert Face Brush, also going to be blending it out with my Real Tech NYX uh, Miracle Complexion Sponge, I believe that's what it's called. 
Anyways, that's what I'm gonna be using. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking my Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Loose Powder and I'm just applying that in all the areas that I've highlighted and I'm going to sit and bake my face. You already know. I'm gonna apply a liberal amount. Now I'm just, I did my lashes and my bottom mascara and all that other stuff. Now I am taking a mineralized powder for the kids in the shade Warm Joint Beige and I'm just gonna use that just to help take off the excess powder that I used and it adds just a little bit more highlight to things to my face. Now I'm taking Becca Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Opal and Dancing and I'm gonna apply that to my cheeks, my nose, my eyebrow, Cupid's bow, all of that good stuff. Now I'll be taking another highlighter by Becca in the shade Topaz and placing it in the same areas I placed Opal. I'm going to be taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the color Ashton and applying that all over my lips. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.